How's it? Today is Monday, November 13th, and we are kind of in a low volume, high intensity transition phase of the training. So I don't know if you remember last week. Last week, Monday was terrible. Today was a different version of terrible. Last week, I was supposed to do f four doubles at 96. If you can remember correctly, or you can guess by the way I'm talking, I did no doubles at 96 last week. I did. I think I did three singles. Might have been four singles total at 96. Um, later in the week on Wednesday, we lowered the volume on the cleans to be just single clean and jerks, which I think helped a tremendous amount going into Friday. And also like my overall confidence on the Wednesday. And I think today is more of an extension of how those went. So today, instead of doing doubles at 99 or even 96 again, we're pushing the intensity to singles at 100, which on Friday, I did uh, three singles at 101 for snatch. And that was awesome. I don't remember the last time I snatched over 100. Today was not like Friday. Today's warm-ups were all right. They weren't terrible. But you can see here, my right shoulder is giving me a lot of issues. Uh, it's quite achy right now. And I'm sitting here just recording this. And it didn't really go away the entire training session. I thought it was going to if I had like strong warm-up and stuff like that. But it was bothering me the whole day, even when I was front squatting. Uh, so with that in mind, it didn't set myself up, or I, I didn't set myself up for a successful day of snatches. Um, and that's kind of a bummer, because I do think I'm strong enough to snatch 100. Like, I should be able to snatch 100 whenever I want to. Um, I've been at the point where I can do 90 for triples, and I can do 90 um, for a, a bunch of singles, basically whenever, no matter how tired I am, no matter how sore I am. And I need to progress at some point. And today I thought today was going to be the day, but it was not. I did learn quite a bit here. So here's my first attempt at 100. I'm actually not sure if I mentioned it, but I failed all of my lifts at 100 today. That's not true. I failed three of my lifts at 100 today. So the first three lifts, I, I completely just botched them all. They were all like with plenty of height, and I'm in position to catch it, but I'm not ready to support it. Like my body's not just it's just not ready. I think either the second one or the third one are the closest, but I mean, relatively speaking, all of them are high enough and all of them I have enough space under the bar and I'm just not able to catch it. And then my I texted my coach, I was like, yo, um, I missed all of my snatches. And he's like, all right, just go down to 90 for a couple singles. And look right here, I missed that one. And I was trying my best not to let my kind of emotions frustrate me and get the better of me. But um, I don't know. I mean, I didn't, I didn't throw a baby fit. I didn't baby your age at all, which is good. But you can see how good these 90s look. Um, I made 93 times and then I actually go back up to 100 and then I go do 100 for one. So I was, I missed four snatches today. I made four snatches today. And like, if I look at the side view of all of these snatches, um, the way I start 90 is definitely different than the way I had originally started at 100 today. And I think for me, it's kind of like, I think about it differently now. I mean, I'm sure I've thought about it like this in the past, but I, I'm i going to put it more into strange words that I know I will remember, but I don't know if anybody else will, will, will make sense. But I'm thinking about kind of staying in the pocket, which doesn't make sense to like really anybody. I think when I like from an outside perspective looking in. Um, and to me, what that usually means is kind of curling my wrists a little bit more so I was focusing a lot on these snatch pulls these are like more classic snatch pulls rather than the folding ones that I've been doing um, 
kind of just keep my wrist curled down and then keep my chest on top of the bar for as long as I can rather than sort of spreading my, my upper back. Um, I mean, you realistically, you could do both of them, but I think one of them to me is a little bit more important. So what that looks like at extension is my elbows can have a little bit of space to go straight up, which is not what was happening on my first couple of attempts at 100 today. And then when I went down to 90, it's like I have so much more confidence and it it went significantly better. And so um, maybe that's why I need to think about it like this. Also, if I warmed up better, that probably would have helped a lot too. Um, after my pulls here, I did some front squats. I was supposed to do 138 for three threes. You'd see here that I did not want to attempt that third rep. So I ended up just doing three doubles um, just to lower the volume and keep my opportunity to continue increasing, um, keep it still open. And I mean, I think that was a good move because you see how hard these are. Um, last week, if you remember, 135 was atrocious. I did like a set of one, a set of two, and then two sets of three. So that's how I made up all my total reps. So, I mean, it was a sign that I needed to lower the weight or lower the reps. And so that's what happened today. Um, finished off with some pull-ups and then my pile-off presses. Yeah, today was uh, today was hard, but, you know, I, I tried my best to look at what I can in, uh, improve on and just figure out what I can do next time so that it doesn't happen again. So that's really all I'm looking at today. Like, there's a lot of learning opportunities today, and for what it's worth, you know, I'm going to get to lift heavy again on Friday, and so we'll see if if by then my body's feeling a little bit better and then I'll be able to execute a little bit better. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Shoots.